Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be giving my review for Dream Moms, the uh, newest Hallmark film um, <clears throat> starring Tamara Mowry. I don't remember the other uh, actress's name in the film. Never seen her before in anything that I'm aware of. Um, so basically, the plot of this one is uh, Tamara and this other like. Uh, other women end up competing in this competition to not only get their career off the ground or make do something more with their life, but um, also to help out Tamara. I think it was her cousin or brother or something like that. Because his place is... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Because uh, his place is fixing the clothes in a couple months if he don't make enough, uh, get enough people, and so this was his way of trying to, um, uh, get his career off the ground more as well. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I kept forgetting to film this one because I just did not like this film whatsoever. Um, it, for me, just did not work on hardly any level. I think the acting was fine in it. Other than that... <laughs> other than that, I just did not care for this much at all. I looked into that. It's not happening. Okay. That's uh, right <laughs> <laughs> um, it's... For me, cinematography-wise, it looked cheap. Um, I didn't like... The look of, of, of nearly any scene it just it just all looked very cheap i felt like they didn't build enough uh excitement or drama to certain scenes like announcing the winner of the competition and stuff towards the end um i didn't like the fact that reminds me of dance moms by the way i'm gonna hear that title <laughs> dream moms yeah um i didn't like the fact that <clears throat> They, the competition was basically like a uh, audition round straight to the finals. There was no, it felt like there was basically no like in between, like round one, two, three. There was nothing like that. You just went straight to the finals if you won the auditions. Um, I didn't like that part. Felt like that felt rushed. Um, I didn't like the fact we didn't get to see the other competition to see what they were going up against. So when the other team won, I didn't really didn't feel anything I didn't really care who uh, anything about the end about it because you didn't really build up any like you could have built up some kind of like a rival you could have had them going against another another person or another group they just they didn't do anything they didn't build nothing they didn't give me any drama they didn't give me no reason to care um I know they had some I know kind of a iffy thing with this but it's because you don't really know the time frames and stuff how much time has passed but there was a couple of people in here that would get ankle that got ankle injuries and within no time it felt like, like within the next scene sometimes it, they were back to normal um didn't seem like there was a lot of um drama built with that it could have had more drama built with that and they, they sort of hinted at one of them for a little bit but it just kind of came and went. There wasn't much to it. Um, and that's just my biggest issue. It, there just, it didn't give me a reason to care. Um, it was... And it, the cinematography was just not great. It just looked cheap. Um, I know a lot of people or some people were like, well, this is about, you know, uh, a great Mother's Day movie because it's about the mom's... Uh, doing something for themselves and thinking, you know, and putting themselves first for a change and bettering themselves. And I get that. That's great. But this movie did not need to be in May. Um, this movie was, in my opinion, should have been a movie from back in January or February because there were scenes where there was, like, snow on the ground. Um, you could tell it was cold. Uh, so this movie was misplaced very badly. If you wanted to make this movie, you should have waited until it was warmer weather or done it in the warmer weather 
and not have done it when it was cold and snowy or recently snowed um, because it just did not fit in my opinion in the, in the May realm of movies. Um, but it just, like I said, it did not work on any level. It's a movie that I cannot recommend. The acting was fine, but that was about all that had it had going for it. Also, with our one main girl, the one I don't know the name of, she felt very just thrown in um, because her character in the beginning, when she shows up to the class, there's really no reason of why she's there. She shows up first for her job to drop off packages, but she's went to the wrong place, so she's asking for directions of where this pla other place she's supposed to be at is at. And um, the guy uh, that runs the place, the Tamara's character's brother, cousin, whatever he is, he's kind of rude to her. And he says that she wants to sign up for classes, the sign-in sheet's on the board, where you basically just see her leave, and then all of a sudden, I could seen her so later, she's in the class dancing. Like, they don't say why she's there, it don't say anything, they don't show her signing up. Nothing. It's just that, boom, she's there. She's dancing. Uh, Tamara's character comes in with, has like a leopard coat on with her purse and obviously not there to, to do any dancing. And she just starts like dancing all up on her and stuff. And she's, uh, Tamara's like trying to get her to back off of her. And for some reason, the girl thinks she's supposed to be dancing there. Like, I'm, she's clearly not there to dance. She's just there to pick up her daughter made no sense that scene in my opinion um but yeah her character just kind of i don't know i just didn't really like how they worked her character how they worked her character very well um but and the romance in it there is a romance storyline uh more of a side storyline i guess and it's fine. It's nothing to write home about. It's just kind of there. It's nothing to be impressed over. Um, I didn't really care about it, honestly. So, I don't really have much to say on it because it wasn't really the main focus of the movie anyway. So, um, but overall, I gave this film a 1 out of 5. Um, it's down at the bottom uh, for me. Um, so... Not really what I was hoping for, but we'll see what the next one brings this weekend, and hope for the best. Hopefully it'll be better, but we'll see. So that's everything for my review for Dream Mom, so please kind of like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, so we'll see you all in the next one.